Hi, in this video, I'll be walking you through how you can utilize the invoice feature alongside Payscout payments. To get started, let's take a look at an estimate from your customer's point of view. Once your client receives the estimate, reviews all of the details, they'll be able to press the accept estimate button and digitally sign their signature. From here, they can now press the pay deposit button and enter in their credit card details. Once the payment is successful, your customer will receive two emails. The first, a payment confirmation email, and then the second, any thank you email that you've previously set up for their initial acceptance. Let's pop back over to Painscout and see the changes that have happened over there. So we'll refresh our browser and we'll see here that the status of the estimate has changed to accepted. And we've also automatically generated an invoice. You can see this invoice by clicking the drop down beside the send button and selecting view invoice. You'll notice that it's already in partial status because we've already reported that deposit payment, which can be seen in the payment section down below and also reflected in the subtotal box under the amount paid. And you'll now be shown a new balance due. To collect the remaining balance from your customer, you can do it two ways. The first is going to be sending this invoice as an email. To do that, press the send button, ensure that your customer's email is correct and customize the body of the email and then press send. Once your customer opens that invoice, they'll see the pay now button on top. They can select that and enter in their credit card details again. Alternatively, you can also collect payment on site. To do that, click the drop down beside the send button, collect payment. You can choose to either do a full amount um, or a custom amount. So you can customize this if your client prefers to pay in installments. Once final payment has been made, the invoice will be marked as paid and you'll see all of the payments down below in the payment section and the final balance due will show zero. Hopefully this has provided some clarification on how you can best use invoicing alongside Painscout payments. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at and we're happy to help.